web app is served from a web server in the zone processor by putting either the MDNS or zero conf address in your browser or the IP address. It works on any device that has a web browser. It's fully responsive and supports screen sizes from phones and tablets to desktop. This front page view shows two distinct sections, the operator views and the pin lockable installer section where the more critical settings can be secured from being tampered with. The zone section contains the level controls and music source selection for the currently selected zone. Music sources are available in a list, each of which can be named according to the music sources attached to the zone processor. Metering here shows which sources are active. The selected music level and microphone levels are set by familiar faders and the overall zone sound level is shown on the meter above. Each of the named zones behaves in the same way with their own independent controls. Presets can be created per zone on the bookmark page which capture the settings visible on each zone page. These are triggered either manually from the list or by timed routines which we'll look at in a moment. The global presets work in the same way but capture the entire set of parameters on the unit. Routines are a method to trigger presets either at the zone level or globally in response to the time settings from the built-in real-time clock. With the day of the week buttons, combinations of weekday, daily or weekend timings can be set for each routine which can then trigger either one zone preset for each zone or one global preset. Moving on to the installer settings pages the zone settings pages allow you to name the zone and set up audio for the sources local to each zone. EQ and compression is provided. There are three bands of EQ on each microphone, individually enabled, and this is in addition to the built-in analog high-pass filter. The music input on the zone pad has one band as a high-pass filter. A ducker is provided, which allows the selected microphone sources to automatically lower the music level for talkover. The system microphones operate in the same way with three bands of EQ and a compressor. These are connected centrally to the zone processor and the level set for any zone. There are four stereo line inputs and two stereo HDMI, HDMI inputs on the zone processor. Each of the HDMI inputs also supports an audio return channel, or ARC, from the display device. All stereo inputs have one band of high-pass EQ. Wherever you see a bookmark icon in the top right of the screen, these settings can be captured to a named preset. Looking at the output settings, There's lots of flexibility for different zone configurations here. The factory setting for the outputs is for the maximum number of mono zones. So a mono sum is routed to the output processing and subsequent output. However, outputs can be fed from any of the left, right or mono sum signals of any of the zone mixes, allowing you to create a completely flexible combination of mono and stereo zones and even duplicate zones with different output processing for the chosen combination of speakers. The output routing then splits into two, the built-in amplifiers, if fitted to the zone processor model variant, and the line output. Both output types have very similar output processing, including delay, three-band EQ, limiter, and crossover. The unit is capable of operating with DHCP, or a static IP address, and the mdns.local address can be set here in the network settings for a more friendly URL in your browser. The remaining settings pages provide plenty of system health including which wall controllers are attached to the zone processor, the state of the power supply and the amplifiers, plus whether the system is muted by the fire alarm connected to the contact closure terminals on the back of the unit. To secure this whole settings system, a pin can be entered which will be required to enter the settings pages from this point onwards.